I chose to go bare bottom in my nano reef tank. In a reef tank, it is important to keep the tank clean to prevent large amounts of algae. Algae is also much easier to remove from a bare bottom tank than it is from sand. This, is all, this also makes it much easier to remove poop from the tank. As a beginner in the reef hobby, and the fact that nano reefs are harder to keep, bare to bottom seemed like the best choice for me. So, to people new to the reef tank like me, I recommend bare bottom. I'm not sure if I would add sand later on, and it really depends on what I want to do. Another great thing about bare bottom tanks is dead spots aren't a bad thing. In bare bottom tanks, it's like a big garbage dump, an easy way to remove majority of the detritus. Another minor advantage is you only need to use a small tube rather than buying a siphon for the sand. The only con is looks, and that is subject to your personal opinion. So my current cleanup crew stock list consists of two magentia snails, an astria snail, and one trochus snail, and a sunk cleaner shrimp. Though I won't consider it cleanup crew since it mostly eats the same food I feed my fish. So the, all these guys uh, do a pretty great job of keeping my tank clean algae free for now and well one thing i just want to point out is remember that cleanup crew they don't get rid of waste you do that all they do is basically convert algae into poop which is much easier to remove than algae because it's stuck on the glass or stuck on the rock so remember that you always have to keep up with your water changes so throw me a thumbs up and send me a sub